it's Monkey 1000 and today we're going to do uh, two projects I have in my mind. Um, one, we're going to do a pumpkin. We're going to paint this and I'll show you the rest on what we will do with this. And then with this, the other one, I have this thing right here. Hope you can see that. I don't have my glasses on. Um, right there, like that. Isn't that cute? And we are going to show you how to stand it up because there's nothing here to stand it up. So we're going to stand it up and I will show you where I'm going to put it. Isn't that cute? I got these at Dollar Tree and I also got everything here is from Dollar Tree. So, okay. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to do this one first, okay? Um, got my hot glue gun going and I'm going to trim this off. Sorry. I have the scissors way over there. And I'm going to trim this off. And it's got a little hanger thing here. And you can hang it up on something if you want to. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it outside. So we're going to just, I'll probably just leave that on just in case I want to um, use it next time. I can just leave it on there. And if I don't want to show it, just put a little bit of tape there. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit and close her up so you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. Hold on. Okay, so what I got here, I got a little box, little trinket box. The box comes out. Now we're not going to use this piece, not today. You can keep it for another project, okay? So we have this square piece here, okay? So we're going to take off the label, or you don't have to, I don't think, but I'm going to. I think it would probably work better. And what I'm going to use this for, if you have things that you can't stand up, I'm going to put it here so it will stand up, see? And I'm going to crazy glue it there, and then it will support it for standing it, just like so, see? So, we are going to glue this. My glue gun should be ready. Yeah, yes. So all I'm going to do is crazy glue this and put glue all the way around here. Now you could paint this if you want. I'm not going to. No one's really going to see it. Um, but if you're going to put it somewhere, you know, some people are putting them beside their fireplaces and stuff like this. Yes, I've seen this before. I found it on YouTube and uh, I thought, Oh, this was a great idea, really. You know, because you buy these little things and they won't stand up and you want them to stand up instead of hanging them on your wall. So I thought, oh, let me try. And you can boot wherever you want. You know, you don't have to do it all the way to the bottom. I'm going to put it just like so in the middle and hold it down. And that's it. Simple as that. I'm going to take some more crazy glue because I want to make sure it's going to stay and I'm going to put some more down in the cracks here. But some people painted them, you know, to make it look a little nicer. I'm not going to put it beside my, my fireplace over there. I got enough stuff over there. And uh, maybe if I ever get some of the stuff out of my house, that's my mother's. I, I'll have room where I can do stuff like that, but right now it's just too hard. So I'm going to use it outside because I have bought some flowers and, and that. And I will take you outside and show it to you. So I'm going to put it beside there. So it kind of gives a little bit of festiveness for the fall. Now I don't really do anything for Halloween. Um, you know, I don't really get anybody. I've had maybe one or two people out of the whole time I've been here. This road is dark and we don't really get anybody. So I'm just going to do my Halloween, uh, my Halloween, sorry, my, um, you know, my thing for, for fall. And I'll leave it up until I do my Christmas stuff. So there you go. See how it's standing up on its own? Um, let me bring you up so you can see a little bit more. And I'll bring it out. 
oops, bringing you instead of up. And there you go, see? And it's standing up all by itself. Now I just put glue behind it um, all the way around. So very easy. Now we'll show you where I'm going to put it. We'll be right back. All right, hopefully you can see it. There you go. It's freestanding all by itself. And yeah, it's a little dark here, but I do have a light on, but you can't, you know, it's nighttime. And there you go. Very easy and very inexpensive. Um, you know, I thought that was a great idea when I saw it because I, I don't want to hang it, you know. But I left the rope on there, so and I just put a little tape on the back of it so it's not showing. And when I feel like I want to hang it, the hanger's already there. Now, now the other video I saw on it, um, she took it off, I guess, because she wasn't going to hang them at all so but and I was like well I'll just leave it on there just in case you know so there you go so now we're going to do my next one so I'm going to go back in the house and we'll start the next one be right back okay guys so the next one's going to do with this pumpkin what I'm going to do with this I bought I bought some paint and I'm got I'm going to color it with my my paint and here's my paint. I bought it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now if you can use whatever you like, you can use whatever kind of paint you want. And I got some of this. Well, I think I had some, but I wasn't sure. So I wanted to get another one just in case. And I'm going to put, cut this out and we're going to stuff it inside. And I'm going to take some flowers and put it inside like so. So that's the idea. So here we go. I'm going to try to use one of these brushes here. Now I don't need my hot glue gun at the moment, so I'm going to turn it off real quick. Okay, so it's not burning everything. And uh, just let it cool down. Okay, so I got me some board here. Uh, I'm going to bring you down so you can see a little bit more. Here we go. That's right. Okay, so. Yeah, I, got, I couldn't find anything else and I didn't really want to put it on my thing here, so maybe I can turn it around like so or something where you can see a little bit better. There we go. So I'm going to use this and see, I liked it, it um, on my last thing where I was painting. I like these because it didn't show the brush, you know, so I'm going to try it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use the orange first and open this up. Now I just found any paint that they had. Um, oops, this thing's like, ah, there, maybe they will stay like that. Let's see if I can pull this back so it's not so big. Nope, not going to happen. Let me cut this off here. There we go. Alright, we'll cut it off and then that way maybe it won't be so lumpsy. I just don't want it on my countertop. Okay, this is red. We want orange. Here we go. We got some orange. I also got some brown because I didn't have any. So I bought some brown to do. Um, I wanted to do. Uh, what did I want to do? I think it was something like in here. Oh, the base. That's what I was going to use it for. Forgot. Okay, so what we're going to do is the orange first. And we're going to paint the orange part. Now you can do both sides if you want. I will because I think what I'm going to do it is um, leave it in my middle of my table. So as a, you know, flower arrangement kind of thing. Um, if you're not going to show the back, then you don't have to paint the back, you know. It's up to you. So we'll see how this works. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to paint it. And we'll go and brush it. And brush it. Probably have to put more than one coat on here. It looks very thin. And you can see, I'll do a little bit here. I like these brushes. I've never really used them. I always used a regular brush and 
I sometimes don't like that because, you know, it's just, these things seem to just work a lot nicer. You can get closer and, uh, yeah, you can get a little closer. And you have more control, I think, also. It doesn't show the, the brushing either, you know? So, and we'll just show you this. I'm showing, I kind of got the base a little bit, but we'll, we'll cover that up with brown. So, that's why I did the, the pumpkin first, so then I can, you know, get that after. Oh, that's cute. I had all different kinds at um, Dollar Tree too. If you haven't seen them, um, go check them out. They're really cute and they're not going to be there long because they're already getting into Christmas stuff. And I'm like, ugh, I can't keep up. Yeah, I just think it's just too much, you know. Let's enjoy each festive because, you know, they're important, each one of them, and they're all celebrated differently. And, and it's like they just want to rush it. Let's rush this because it's all about the money. And, you know, I mean, I understand that some people have to do the crafting and stuff ahead of time. But can we just get closer to Halloween first, you know, before you start bringing out Christmas trees and stuff? I mean, especially in Florida, you know, you live in a warm client, you know, you don't want, you don't want to look at a friggin' turtleneck or anything and when it's still 80 and 90 degrees out, you know, they should have special stuff for places just for the warmth because, you know, you don't need that. And if you're going to buy it, you can buy it online, you know, to send to family if you have family up north. You don't have to have them in the stores like you used to, you know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the back, too. And I'm just going to... This is kind of thick. Thick and thin at the same time. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. So I'm just going to do the back and... Because I'm going to have it on my table, so as I said, so i rather have the back done, you know, than not have a back done and then be seen when I put it somewhere, you know. If I had it against the wall and I knew it was always going to stay there, then fine, you know, you don't have to. But, yeah, this is really cute, I think, idea and... I just thought it was going to be, you could also use it as a napkin holder if you want to. Um, you know, you can all do all different kinds, you know. They had different ones there, but I like this, the pumpkin. It gave it more of a festive kind of thing, you know. So... And you can use this for Thanksgiving, Halloween, you know, you could do whatever you want. Yeah. So. All right, we got the first coat on. There we go. I'm playing with. It's got it in holes a little bit, so. You kind of want to get that out. I mean, if you get it in there, that's fine. You know, no one's really going to see that when you're finished. But you want to try to make it look as nice as possible. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and I'm going to put the second coat on and then I will come back. Okay guys, I put three coats on this um, and it's been a bit, but it hasn't been that long. It's still wet because I just put the third coat on there. So I'm going to start with the brown. Hopefully I won't bother the, the orange part and we're going to try to do that part. 
I'm going to do the brown up in the top here on the stem and I will do the base too at the same time so we will try to get this thing going here a little bit. It shouldn't take too long for it to dry and I mean it depends what how dark you want to go you know on how many coats you want to put on it but I really kind of wanted to put a little bit more orange in there so I put more I, I did it like three times so I think it looks cute it's just basically drying now and that's pretty fast stuff so I don't think it's going to take that long t for it to dry I'm going to put this over here on this little doodad here I'm going to shake this up real good and uh, yeah so you can kind of come with me while I do that part and then we'll have to let it dry for a little bit <coughs> excuse me okay so I'm gonna do the stems here and just brush them best you can I'll probably have to put more than one coat on here too I mean it depends how dark you want it do you want it real dark do you want it just light you know and it doesn't have to be perfect you know sometimes things that are not done perfect are even better you know there so there you go the stem I'm going to do do this stem too because you can see it so I'm gonna probably do the stem inside so you can see it I don't know maybe I should have did the orange on the inside too well I think it's gonna be covered I really do so depends if I change it I mean the flowers should cover it but I'm gonna do it on the outside as you can see and we'll just paint here and there kind of just line it a little bit there you go so you can kind of see what I'm doing here there we go and I'll flip it around again that's right so I'm going to do the base part which is not going to be easy I'm just going to lift it up from in between here and I'm going to do the base brown and you could do it any color you want you could do green whatever I like to think brown will look just fine and if I get it on the orange then you know I can always touch it up or you know leave it just make it more natural you know I'm just trying to show you I'm doing inside here a little bit at a time just like so I think this was so cute yeah, I like Dollar Tree I like doing projects with Dollar Tree stuff because I mean you know we like to change things all the time and I don't want to spend a fortune on on stuff that I might only use once a year you know and sometimes you know you make projects that you use all every day I mean I still have some projects that I use every day so and if I goof it up it didn't cost me a fortune <laughs> either that's one thing I like too yeah so I'm 
I'm just painting the inside here a little bit. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, oh, that's almost dry. It's not on the inside, but it is on the outside. I'm trying to do inside here because the sides might be seen. So I want to make sure that I have it painted. Eh, it's still tacky. This one ain't too bad in the front though. So yeah, so I'm just kind of doing this a little bit. So you see what I'm doing and um, I mean you can paint the whole thing you do the inside if you want. I might end up doing that at near the end or I might just leave it. It depends how much is showing. I don't really, I wasn't thinking that it would really show that much because um, you know I'm going to have flowers in there. so. But you could get the kids involved in this too, you know, it's simple, you know, it's already together, you don't have to put it together. All you're really doing is painting it and making it yours for whatever you want, you know. You can make it a pencil holder, crayon holder, and put the crayons sticking up in, in there or something, you know, some kind of markers or something, you know, and put it on a table for, for the fall or something. You just stick a bunch of pens in there and you got a pen that's handy, so, you know, make it a, a napkin holder, um, you know, put flowers in it like I'm going to, you know, do what you want. Make it your own, that's what I say. That's it. I'll be right back as soon as I finish this and touch it up and I will show you. Then we'll do the flower part. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so now I've got it done and I painted the bottom. I also painted the sides. I didn't really, I mean, I, I didn't do this part here. I might have to if, if it's the flower show. Um, if not, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, you can, you know, it's up to you. So I got some of this stuff. I'm going to stick some of this in here. I'm going to cut it and let me get a knife here and I will cut this. Hold on. I was going to use the scissors, but I don't think that's going to work. So we'll just get a knife and cut it then. And, uh, so it's still a little wet, it's still drying. This stuff does dry fast. It doesn't take that long really, I don't think. So I'll just cut it here and make it work to the size you want. And I cut it right through the plastic so I didn't even have to take it off. Now I'm probably gonna have to cut it again. And there we go. Stick it in the hole like so. Uh, still a little bit too much. Okay. And we're going to stick it right in the hole. I was trying to lay it down. I might have to do another piece here. The stuff reminds me of that. What that was that stuff? That hard toffee candy? Oh yeah, the sponge one. Oh damn, that's what this stuff reminds me. But don't eat it. No, we don't want to eat this. But that stuff was good. Okay, so I put it in there to the size I need. Now I picked out some fall flowers. So I got these at Dollar Tree too, for a dollar. Dollar Tree is awesome. So now you're just gonna cut them off to where you want them. And I'm gonna move this out of the way for just a second. It should be all right. And so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I got some cutters that are Shea Bears, so we won't tell them if I can cut with these, I don't know. 
Eh, there we go. It should be not that hard to cut. There we go. And I'll take the label thing off. And we'll take this off of here. There's some pretty fall flowers, but there are not too many because they're already getting into the Christmas spirit. I'm like, whatever. I want to do the fall and I want to enjoy the fall during the fall. And I want to make my projects during the fall. You know, not ahead. You know. And then we're just going to stick them in there. And you can do whatever you want. Arrange them the way you want. You know. This looks a little bit tricky here. You want to take some of the leaf, you know, some of the uh, the greenery off. You can, and uh, you can put as many as you want in there. Let me put. Um, these are all the same, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. And we'll take a couple of these and a couple of that and. What we got? And I'm gonna put another one. I think in the middle. That's orange. Kind of make it pop a little bit more. Very simple project. Not hard to do. But it's nice that you can just put it around. If you're gonna have a big party for Thanksgiving, you can make these and put them on the tables if you have a lot of people coming. That would even be a cute little idea. And that's it, there you go. I like that, that's cute. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. Yep, and I mean, it's very simple. You wanna add more, you can add more. I can add more over each side. But I don't want to put too much in there, I don't think. And um, there you go. Yeah. And you can see the side of it, so I might, maybe I'll put some more flowers to hide it. Um, so you might have to paint the inside too. Um, you know, I was trying to keep it simple, you know, especially if you want to do it with your kids. You know, you don't want to, you want to make it too long for the kids because they lose their concentration a little bit. And, you know, they'll be saying, yeah, okay, I'm ready to jump this thing. <laughs> so I'm going to put another um, couple of these in there. I thought this was a cute idea. And, uh, yeah. And this really didn't take that long. It's just the paint that, you know, you have to let it dry kind of thing. So maybe we'll... Do this right here. And that way, you know, they're not even, with that many, you won't see the sides. You're not gonna see them. You're just gonna see that. That's cute. And there you go. And uh, good. kind of arranging it. You know, you can do whatever. I mean, you could pop this one and put it in the middle. Let's change it a little bit here. Too much orange. Do one in the middle and do there. That's cuter. I think that looks good. That looks cute. And I'm going to put it in the middle of my table with my candle and I will show you. I'll be right back. And there you go. And that's that's it. It looks pretty cute. It didn't take that long, really. I mean, just the paint job is, you know, it takes a little bit with waiting for the dryness, but that's it, you know, and you can arrange them the way you want and use whatever you want. Um, you know, it gets closer to Halloween. You could change these up and use the Halloween um, flowers, you know, the black ones and stuff to go with the pumpkin. You know, whatever you want. I like it for, for that. I'm going to leave this up with my, my table right through Thanksgiving. And um, I think it'll look really cute. And I have my candle. This candle smells oh, amazing. This candle is so good. I can't remember the name of it, though. Let me see if I can see the other side. Yeah. It's called Pumpkin Picking, and it smells amazing. I got that. Where did I get it? I think I got it at Walmart. That's where I got it from. 
but I just turned the label around so you don't really have to see it and you can see the the light and that looks really cute yeah these would be great centerpieces for for uh, uh, Thanksgiving dinner especially if you have more than one table you want to decorate it and you can do these and the kids can help you you know it's something fun so those are the two fall projects that I have right now so um, I do have another uh, project I want to do I got to get a couple things for it and then I will put it up and uh, hopefully it'll work out for what I want to use it for. Um, I've seen it on YouTube too and I thought oh this might be a good idea so I will um, yeah as soon as um, you know I get the, the few products I need I already got some of it so that I already had so I'm going to use that um, so there we go Anyways, that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. Y'all have a great rest of the week. I hope you enjoyed my videos. And don't forget to ch check out my hashtag shorts. I'm making those, like I said in my last video. If you want to, the video more, it's a short video that I use from another video. So you can... Um, go to my playlist and find them on there and they're longer and they explain a little bit more on what we were doing that day so that's it y'all have a great rest of well this is what monday so yeah so great evening and um we'll see if i can get the other one i gotta go to dollar tree to get the rest of the stuff for that one and as soon as i do i will make another video and that's it. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Have a great evening.